All right, so today I woke up and turned on my computer after getting some coffee. I uh, saw that there were some new uh, PvP updates and I haven't looked at these yet, so this is just gonna be me going over them really, really quickly. Um, and yeah, give my thoughts and feelings, let's do it up. New uh, PvP tuning, January 11th. So that's not today, that's going to be, I guess, tomorrow um, that these come in. Uh, so we can see kind of what's going on here. Uh, we're currently working on some target adjustments to three specs in PvP. We don't have a precise time these will go live, but we're estimating late today or perhaps tomorrow even. So it looks like they want to change Elemental, Mistweaver, and Balance Druids. Okay. Um, for Mistweaver Monks, uh, Surging Mist, PvP talent, mana cost increased to 3.8% of the base mana cost. It was two, so it almost doubled the mana cost of Surging Mist which that, that's a huge change, it really is. And healing reduced by 20%, that's a fat nerf to Surging Mist, insane. But Surging Mist is a really good talent, honor talent. It's one of the best heals in the entire game, so I think it getting nerfed is okay. Uh, Way the Crane PP talent increases physical damage by 25%, was 35%, and now heals for 150% of the damage dealt was 200% now. I don't know what the hell is going on with Way of the Crane, to be honest with you. What's up, man? Uh, I don't know what the hell is going on with the Way of the Crane, to be completely honest with you, but I almost, I feel like this is, I don't even know if this is gonna be enough. It might be, but I'm not 100% convinced this is gonna be enough. Like, I still feel like Way of the Crane is just gonna top people instantly. You know what I mean? If someone has four Black Oak Kicks loaded up and they Rising Sun Kick, four Black Oak Kick, I feel like anyone in the game is going from 10% to 100% HP, but I could be wrong. I think uh, Mistweaver is getting uh, some nerfs. Uh, is definitely a step in the right direction. I don't. I don't know if this is going to be enough. Maybe it will be. Um, and I predict that if Mistweaver monks keep getting nerfed, that we're going to see a giant rise in paladins once again. Um, shaman, elemental shaman. All right, let's look at them. Um, elemental shaman. Earth shock damage reduced by ten percent. Okay. Uh, Stormbringer increases lightning bolt damage by 115% when engaged with combats and said, so, okay, so they nerf Stormbringer, Stormbringer, not Stormkeeper. Uh, Surge of Power can now cause up to additional two lightning bolt lower laws against enemies was three. So they, that's good. They, they toned down the RNG when someone casts Stormkeeper. Now they're not going to just get a billion lightning bolt procs, not a billion, but they're not going to get three additional lightning bolts on you and potentially one shot you. I still think it's going to do really horrifying damage. It's going to be strong, but it's not as strong. Um, what I would have liked to see in Elemental Shamans personally, and I know a lot of people like they, they maybe they disagree with me, but I, I really don't like the new playstyle of lightning lasso on Elemental Shamans. Like, I would rather see Shamans just have more consistent oh, damage so to their dots and casted spells like a regular lightning bolt or lava burst. Um, but I, that's personally, I would like to see a lot of classes go in that direction, but um, I guess Shaman will still kind of revolve around the lightning lasso talent, unfortunately. So Shaman getting a decent nerf, Mystery Monk's getting a decent nerf. You know, I guess we'll see. Um, Druids, Balanced Druids, Celestial Alignment increases the damage of your spells by 10% when engaged with PvP was 15. I don't know, like, I guess druids are still really, really good. Like boomkins are still really, really good. But I don't know. I really haven't. I don't. I don't. I haven't minded them too much. Incarnation chosen of a loon increases damage to spells by 18%. Was 25. That's a fat nerf to incarnation. Uh, okay, that's what I was gonna say. I'd rather see incarnation get nerfed. Like what I want to see nerfed is like those big 30 second timer one shot abilities. And then I want to see consistent damage buff. The pr the problem I'm seeing right now, or my problem in general. Um, well, let's see, read the last one. Shooting stars now generates two astral power when engaged in combat with enemy players. Okay, so yeah, my, my problem in general is just like, I, I, I'm I happy that they're nerfing like those offensive cooldowns, but you know, and they're nerfing like some consistent burst, but what I want to see is consistent damage brought up across the board. I want to see Moonkin's dots do more damage. I want to see, you know, their casted wraths do more damage. I want to see Lightning Bolt do more damage, but it seems like Blizzard, that's not direction they want to take the game unfortunately but i'm happy they are making some changes and uh, hopefully these coming soon what do you what do you guys think about these you think these changes are going to be enough is there any other classes that dodge the bullet some coming to mind are like destro warlocks <laughs> like destro warlocks definitely dodged a bullet here 
and uh, paladin mana efficiency. But other than that, I mean, cool. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. Anyways, what's up, buddies?